I'm about to show you exactly how much money I made as an 18 year old piano tuner. I want this video to be as helpful and as inspirational as possible, so I'm just gonna be opening up the vault. I wanna show you guys exactly what I made through my business last year, what it costs to run a business like this in 2022. Around the age of 16, I started training to become a piano technician. This was originally to support my dream of becoming a professional pianist. I spend my spare time on YouTube creating piano videos. Over the past few years, I've had the privilege of working with schools, churches, theaters even. I was working fast food the year before, and I made like $2,000 all summer. Summer, and that was like me working every day. Okay, before I get started, I have to address this, and that is why am I making this video? I can see the comments are already coming through. They're gonna say, I hate all these young kids on YouTube. They think they're all that. I'm not here to brag about money. The money that I made through piano tuning is actually quite a bit less compared to most tuners, but it is my first year up and running. There's actually three main reasons why I'm doing this. And the first one is piano tuners need help. We need other piano tuners. Sadly, a lot of the young technicians, there's not very many of them. It's mostly older guys out in the field and a lot of them are looking to retire. So there used to be nine technicians in my area. Now there's only three and that's including myself and the other two are looking to retire soon so personally I need help I know there are a lot of other technicians out there in the same boat second reason I'm making this video is to inspire people I want people to watch this video and be like man could I do that I want you to challenge yourself and say should I pursue piano technology as a career <laughs> I know that's like really abstract but I want you to see that it is lucrative I get asked quite a bit is it possible to actually make a living tuning pianos is this your only job or are you doing something else on the side? So I want to inspire people. The third reason is because I made piano tuning shorts. So like TikTok sort of short form vertical content and that absolutely blew up. I went from like 300 subscribers to 40,000 subscribers in a month. It was crazy. Like I never expected them to gain that much traction, but I've been trying to put out more. And so I'm seeing if you guys will resonate with this kind of content, maybe like the monetary side, just seeing what you guys would like. So if you do like the video, please leave a like. It lets the algorithm know, but more importantly, it lets me know that it was a good video, that you enjoyed watching it. So if you do like it, please like it. Okay, now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's dive into exactly how much money I made in 2022. Here's the problem I ran into when I was thinking about making this video. I can't just say a number because there's a big difference between how much money I make and how much money I actually get to keep and take home. So especially for small business, especially for a business starting up, there's a big difference between those two numbers. So without further ado, let's dive into my first category of expenses before we move on to profit. Here's a breakdown of all the tools that I purchased this year, and I like to break them into two separate categories. The first, I don't know if this is a technical term for it, but I like to call them consumables. Consumables doesn't mean I'm eating them. It just means that these are tools that I installed onto the piano or things essentially that I don't get to keep. They're one-off. I use them and then I'm done and I have to buy new ones again. The second category is non-consumables. This is essentially everything I purchase and then I don't have to purchase it again. There's a fine line to draw here. Technically, I do have to purchase everything again because it will break down. But generally speaking, if I don't have to purchase it for 20, 30 years, that's a non-consumable. So in total, the consumables category of parts that I needed to buy again and again each year, that totaled up to be around $900. The non-consumables ended up being $3,016.43. All right, let's move on to the second group of expenses, which is marketing. Here is actually where I messed up pretty bad. When I originally started running advertisements, I had no idea what I was doing and I ran them through Facebook ads I, I think I read like a book or something and I was like, this is how you run ads. And I thought it was brilliant, but it turns out I was not. And I probably wasted around $590 just blown on advertisements that were not good. Since then I purchased an advertising course and I've been going through that and it's already been sparking a whole bunch of new ideas. I'm also helping to leverage my YouTube channel and the shorts to create better advertisements in the future. And that course was pretty expensive, but I'm really excited to use that. I actually kind of in love with advertising now. It's been my new hobby, I guess. And that course costs $2,100. Going forward into January, February, I hope to be running some more advertisements as well as spending more time on my YouTube channel. The next major thing that I spent money on in advertising was a thing called Gazelle. I know that it doesn't make any sense right now, but hold on in a second, I'll explain it. It's basically a calendar, client list, scheduling, and a reminder list automated for piano tuners specifically. So it's a little bit more on the pricey side than I would like 
but I seriously can't imagine running a piano tuning business without it. It keeps track of all your data. Uh, it sends out reminders like the day of the appointment, the day before the appointment, and it sends out reminders, you know, hey, your piano hasn't been tuned in a year. It's time to look into getting that done again. That's the recommended time, by the way, if you didn't know, is to have your piano tuned once a year. Actually, manufacturers technically recommend every six months, but most piano tuners do once a year, especially for in-home pianos. Anyway, that's a side tangent a little bit. And that costs now around $100 a month. It was a little bit cheaper at the beginning of the year. So in total, it costs $980. I almost thought about filing that under the tools, but I think it would fit a little bit better under marketing. Yeah, I think this was probably the most expensive group and that is referral fees. So there's a couple ways that piano tuners will do this. One that I did is with my mentor. He's going into semi-retirement right now and every new client that he gets, he doesn't actually want new clients. So what he'll do is he'll send them my way and I pay him a small percentage. In order to protect his privacy, I won't mention how much percentage I pay him, but I can say total cost that I paid him this year was $3,000 just for getting new clients in the door. And that was super, super helpful. The fourth and final group of expenses is donations. And I don't like to technically classify these as expenses, but um, this is what I list them in taxes under. So I just want you guys to know I'm not committing tax fraud. This is where my money is going. And I just want to be completely open. Also super encourage you guys to go out and give to other people. If you have money to spare, it's a ton of fun and you always see it come back around. Uh, God has blessed me in so many ways that I really can't comprehend it. I just wanted to share that with other people. So the first way that I do that is tithe. So I tithe around 10% to my church and then I, I don't necessarily donate money specifically, but I'll donate services or I'll cut the prices of services for people or schools that are in need. And then I also tune for my church uh, four times a year for free. I don't want to make this seem like this is something that you have to do, but it's just something that I wanted to share with you guys, something that I do and wanted to encourage you to do that as well. Understandably, if you work for a big business, it's not exactly like you can cut the price of a product you offer. But outside of work, if you can donate to people that are, that are in need, if they really do need something, highly would encourage that. As a short bonus, I wanted to throw in an answer to one of the most common questions that I get once I started posting videos about piano tuning, and that is, where do I get started? How do I learn this? Where's the best place to get started? That kind of a thing. So the best place to get started is by far the Piano Technician Academy. It's an e-learning course. You take the videos wherever you want, whenever you want, and you can literally grind it out and finish it in a month, or you can take it as slow as you want, and if you have another job that you're working, you can learn to do this on the side. It's a really great option to get started, and if you want to do that, just go Go ahead and click the link in the description and use the coupon code Josiah Jackson. And if you do use that coupon code, you get $100 off. So that is a huge bonus for you guys. I do want to be open with you guys. I earn a small commission off of all the sales that go through there, but I still believe it's definitely the best way to get started. It's a lot cheaper than most mentorships too, because if you find a mentor that really knows what he's doing, he can often charge basically whatever he wants. You don't have to deal with finding a mentor, which is the hardest part probably, because it's hard to find someone just to tune your piano, much less mentor you to tune your piano. I got very lucky finding two guys that were willing to do it locally, but others might not be that lucky. So this is definitely the best option right now. I guarantee those guys are top of the line. Go check them out. They're closely associated with the Piano Technicians Guild, and that's like the top of the line piano tuners. So this is the best way to get started. If you guys are interested in that, even just interested, you don't have to be like, okay, I want to become a piano tuner. If you're just curious, then click the link and that'll direct you to their website. And then you can find some more info from there. All right, now we can finally move on to the fun part, and that is profit. With a total of 166 customer appointments this year, the total I made in the year of 2022 was $32,404. To a lot of you, that number may sound pretty big. Others, it may sound kind of small. I mentioned this somewhat in passing at the beginning of the video. It is kind of small for most piano tuners and their full-time income, though I am just getting started. Here are a couple reasons why I'm excited about that number. I'm really pumped about it, especially looking forward. So the first one is a few years ago, I was working at an ice cream shop and I made $2,000 during the summer. So no matter what, this has been a huge improvement for myself. Just got out of high school. I'm 18 years old to be able to start a business and within a year and technically a year and a half, uh, have a fully running business that makes $32,000 a year. That's a pretty good gig. And hey, that's all you can ask for is just improve yourself 1% every day. I love that quote, improve yourself 1% every day and it compounds over time. That's a great model to live by, I think. Anyway, so big improvement for me. The second reason is I didn't actually even work that much this year. So let me explain. I said I had 166 customer appointments this year, which that is true, and they take around two and a half hours each. 
So if they each take two and a half hours, that puts me around 415 hours of work time this year, adding up to around 10 or 11 40 hour work weeks, which is not that much to be working out of a full year, 10 or 11 weeks worth of time. That's pretty decent for an hourly wage and that puts me working just below $80 an hour. That's not counting driving time and scheduling time. I'm not really making $80 an hour when I'm driving and I drive quite a bit for this job. The third reason I'm excited moving forward is as I grow my skills, my appointments will get faster and faster. So two and a half hours is actually very long for most professional piano tuners. But again, that's just an average to some of the appointments take longer because because they need other repairs and kind of stuff. I'm not just tuning the piano. As you guys may have seen in some of my shorts videos, I do quite a bit of repairs as well. So as I grow my skills, the appointments will get faster and I'll be able to fit more in a day and actually make more in a day because I'm working more or working less technically. The fourth reason is the small amount of advertisements I did do were terrible. So looking forward, I would really like to improve those and actually gain some clients by advertisement. Another reason that I'm excited about this number moving forward is that I don't have to spend all this money and time again. So setting up the business obviously takes quite a bit of time. And in the beginning of the year, I was actually still in high school. So I wasn't able to work that much and I was just perfecting the website getting everything set up, I was buying the tools, and I won't have to do all of that again. Once I've got the tools, I have the knowledge, everything is sort of just set from here, and I can just focus on growing my business rather than starting it. So let's take a big step back and look at a big picture sort of view. So I had $10,547 in expenses this year. That leaves me with $22,000 take home pay. And I also had to buy a car this year, which that cost me around 11,000. Of course, I had to pay for gas. Just the other day, I had to pay a thousand dollar repair after I bought the car. And then when you count in the fact that I am trying to save $500 a month into my Roth IRA, everything starts to add up and you can see I'm not really living that luxurious of a life. I'm trying to save quite a bit as much as I can. But anyway, thank you guys so much. If you found this video helpful, inspirational, motivational, just interesting in general, then please like the video. I'm trying to figure out what kind of content I could make around piano tuning. That's a little bit longer form content instead of the short stuff. I look at the like count to determine, you know, if I want to make more videos like this. So if you don't like the video, actually, please dislike the video. <laughs> I'm looking for criticism. I'm looking for direction here. So if you do like it, please like it. But anyway, thank you so much. And I will catch you in the next one.